misinformation that is being spread. Right? So, we do care about the culture and the music, and you know how harmful misinformation can be. We don't want that. So, beg the item, share up the live, we could get some numbers in, so we can make this very informative and get the word out, right? Now, I, I'm going to start. Screen record if you must. I'm going to start. Now, Reggae Sunfest has been around for 30, 30 something years, 31 years, to be exact, 31 years, right, Bob? 31 years. Is it? Last weekend was the 31st staging of Reggae Sunfest. So it has been around for 31 years. 31 glorious years. Big up to the, the predecessors, the bridging them, um, where they were in charge of the festival before Downsound take it over, because they did an immaculate job, a wonderful job at building this brand from nothing to something and preserving it for we take, it, take the helm and do our, 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 our play our role, you know? And we're truly grateful for that. So, it's not an easy task because festivals are a dime a dozen right now in this country. A lot of dance keep, a lot of parties keep, soccer parties, a lot of events keep, but not um, festival like Reggae Sunfest, you know? So, <clears throat> this is a huge undertaking. Now, we don't take up this thing as a hobby. We take it very serious. So this is why every year we try to do a better job and do a better job and improve on the things that need to be improved on. And when we, we make mistakes and we, we acknowledge them and we try to fix them every year. That's how you get better. Acknowledging your, your errors, adjusting. And over time, you get to a certain level of perfection. Not perfect certain level of protection because you have a man named Murphy and just run in and just kick away your foot more time. But you have to be able to pick yourself up back and move on and still do a good show for the patrons. That being said, a bridging go panel in live today and made reference to a particular artist, not even a particular artist, made reference to Babyface and um Barry Salmon and said a lot of things. He said a whole heap of things, right? And um, a lot of it, practically all of it, misinformation. Now, as we all know, Barry is the pillar of reggae music. Every single Jamaican, local and abroad, Almost everybody will know about Barry Salmon have a different kind of connection to him and just love him more than them love any other artist. One reason, aside from his voice and his talent, you never hear Barry Salmon name calling a no cascas. You never hear Barry Salmon name mix up in a no negative. It's always positivity. And when you go around Barry, that is the kind of attitude in exert. Nothing but positivity and laugh and reasoning. You see me? So I never intend to do no live. I drive me a drive coming from country. And I want to call me and I say, yo, you need to address something right now. See it on Instagram, on Pink Wall. And say, Scatter, you need to address this right now. I never have no intention to address nothing. So I say, I run go over Pink Wall to check it out. And to my surprise, the bridging rude job bury someone in some wallet of negativity, right? And um, this negativity is based on hearsay because the Virgin wasn't at the show. He said he got a call and he heard this and he hear that and he heard this and all of them stuff there. So these things are people are spewing is stuff is hearsay. But social media is a very powerful platform and here can go a very far, far, far away. You understand me? And when them are mix up somebody like Barry Salmon now, I have to take 
the owners will say, no, I have to address this because, as I said before, Beres' name never called for nothing negative yet. So this is the only reason why my officer yo, I have to address this. So here, here it goes. Now, what he said was, Barry Salmon was disrespected by Babyface because Barry, Babyface was in the venue and decided that he was not going to leave his tent to go on stage until we cleared the backstage area and ushered everybody out, including Barry Salmon. Serious allegation. He went further to say that we, some first staff, threw Beres out of the out of the, the, the backstage area and ran everybody out. It's not a serious allegation. Barry Salmon has been doing reggae some first consistently for the last. I think he, he missed last year, but before that he did it what two or three years in a row from 2019. Huh? Two first and now and now this year. Now, when Barry Salmon lock in with a promoter, it's not because of the money thing. It's because <clears throat> Barry Salmon acknowledge say, these people have an understanding of what they're doing and I can work with them. It is not easy for any, any promoter to book Barry Salmon. When we just take over some fest, it took us a while to even get a proper meeting with Barry and his manager. What's, 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 what's Miss Walsh. Took us a long time to get to a negotiating table to have a proper discussion about Beres appearing on the show. Him now, come on. So when you say Beres the sum first two, three years, it means him have confident in the sum first team and he's locked in. And he's, he, Beres have a few promoters when deal with Panda B system. And we are one of them. And we love that and we respect it. So to think that we are going to uh, to ask for people to assume that we are starstruck by any other artist that we would go right into Barry Salmon tent and disrespect him and ask him to leave is beyond me. <clears throat> it just show the level of crabbing a barrel and negativity where we are as black people amongst each other. We're ready for spew negativity based upon hearsay. Even if it means calling up one another with giant name. This man never did the show. He never seen or heard for himself, but he go up alive. Where it can be shared to thousands and millions of people go speak about one another. I can being disrespected like there is not have enough weight to throw around when nobody not even like a try disrespect him like Beres is just a little typical person where anybody can run up on. That is not it. Nobody no disrespect. Nobody no disrespect the chairman of the board. You ever hear the bears get disrespected, brother? Never. One artist me can tell us I never hear bears get this. I never hear bears get this by nobody, not a soul. Never, ever. But somebody I go hear, hear say, and jump on social media because they are cloud chase and say. Some first team, this is very similar. Now, I am not here to follow that conversation but because out of the respect of Barry Salmon, because his name is thrown into this thing in a negative fashion, out of respect for Barry Salmon, I have to address it and clarify it to the wider public. Out of respect for the chairman of the board, that's the only reason why I am doing this. Because 99.9% .9 of the country don't believe this. However, there's a lot of people who want, who still deserve to hear what exactly it, it is, <clears throat> right? People want to hear exactly what it is. And we have, a, we have our onus to the public to speak exactly what went down. <clears throat> now, this is exactly what it is. No fluff. No lies, straight from a team member of Reggae Sumfest who has been there during, during all the negotiations and the admins <clears throat> on Saturday, 20th of July.
let me go let me get right into it <clears throat> so i'm gonna flip this camera right i'm gonna flip this camera <clears throat> and what i'm gonna show you is a sketch of our backstage area <clears throat> i'm gonna flip this camera and show you a sketch of our backstage area right 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 Beres, right um baby face and like niger boy pa, each of them definitely <clears throat> so i'm gonna flip this camera and show you what our backstage area look like this is a regular some first backstage area so first me i go on live on tiktok anyway so i'm not to know it but i do know how to flip the camera flip <clears throat> so this is a, this is a sketch of our backstage area reggae some first backstage area right Blocks, hold this camera for a minute, please. <clears throat> so in all times, make sure you get this area. Get, can't get my my nice face tonight every now and then, but make sure you say I get this. No, I am not Roy Forrest, and I am not here to tell you about the weather. <clears throat> this is a version of Reggae Sunfest backstage area. So this is showing you actually probably 95% of what our backstage area look like. All of this. <clears throat> so let me let me list it properly for you. Artists are dropped off right here. <clears throat> this is a backstage area, let me tell you. And this is our stage. And this is how you enter the, st you enter the stage from here. Please get the full thing. Don't want them not so I deal it. You enter the stage from here. You enter the backstage area from right here. Artists are dropped off right here. Now this is a very, very, very small parking area that bus comes bus come in and drop off the artist then and they go straight to the backstage area so this is our last no this is our second to last we have four security points we have a main gate outside where the bus then pull up the bus then pull up to the second security post where everybody get off the bus and they are searched and the buses are searched them load up back on the search on the bus and go to our third security gate, which is about right here, right, Bob? Mm -hmm. Right here. And everyone now gets off the bus right there. Armbands are checked and they are let in here. So everybody with an armband. As a matter of fact, the bus drive in here, so the bus is the bus drive in here, so they don't come off them, drive in here, so and the security gate lock. Everybody come off because by this time, by you reach this gate, and everybody's supposed to have an armband, especially the ones in the bus. However, Things happen, I will tell you about that. But where Beres and all of these people are concerned, this is the story. The bus come through this drop-off area. Everybody unloads, include Beres, his team, his band members, backup singers, managers, small entourage, and all of those people. Beres, them don't really do big entourage, but his team of essential people that works is a lot of people, and everybody works. <clears throat> they're, they're dropped off here, they are met by our artist liaison so this is the person who meets the artist and say Beres is in num tent number whatever artist and say Beres is in num tent number whatever Beres is in tent this time Beres was in tent what's this one or two Beres was in tent number two give me Beres sticker please Beres was in tent number two so this is Beres uh, I did it now nice. it's a stick oh good y'all see clear y'all see the word clear <clears throat> TV. Yeah, TV light of skill. This is Barry's tent. Right here. Right here. I'll put one big B and can put it. The marker. Go and show them the, the go and show it to them blocks. So B is for this is Barris's tent. Can I see that a little bit? You see that a little bit? Yes, Okay. This is Barris's tent. Okay, cool. Great. Uh, back up, yes, I mean, I know I show too much now. More you say the full thing. 
So this is Barry's tent. So Barry is dropped off and is and is escorted via this route here to his tent, which is tent number two, right here. Right up be right bold baby face or face or B B F B F baby face. So same thing goes for baby face. Baby face is dropped off at the artist drop off point. Has a very large team, probably about eight lead singers, backup singers, about four engineers, band members. So it's a huge team for Babyface and a big team for Burris. These are two main acts, top of the line acts. So them, them, they are their them crew is huge. Now these ten now, so they had the the, the opportunity to choose. Baby, this tent was allotted to Baby Burris because we don't want Burris to walk far. But we don't want to put him too near our own crowd or anything. So we'll put Burris here. Babyface's team wanted to be here. So this is Burris in tent number two. This is Babyface team in tent number one. I'm going to show you Nigel Boy's tent for a reason, which I am going to get to later on, right? Let me have Nigel Boy stick on the brother. This is Nigel Boy. A Nigel Boy or a Niggy Boy? All respect, Nigel Boy. Nigel Boy tent, right? So other artists here, Luciana is around here somewhere, and Norris Man is around here somewhere. The reason why I'm focusing on Barris, Babyface, and Nigel Boy, because after Nigel Boy performed, there was Barris, and after Barris performed, there was Babyface. That is the little segment we're focusing on at the moment. Now, on a typical reggae sumfest night, show night, all of these areas are occupied by artists. These are olden areas. Artists are in their tent. In these tent, they have a rider where they say they want Hennessy, Red Bull, Cranberry. They want water. Only thing we don't give them is weed for smoke. <laughs> but almost anything where they want, we make sure certain caliber artists can ask and it is provide them. But every artist have water and refreshments. If they want food, they get food too. So these tents are for the artists and their crew members who are working. It's not fully for entourage, but you know in a Jamaica, as we stated, every artist travels with entourage. So a tent that is supposed to occupy 20 people will sometimes have 30 people in it. As long as the artists don't mind and they don't get in the way of another other patrons or other guests, we facilitate it, right? So here's the problem. While this tent will be filled with 20 persons, you will have another 10 loitering in these pathways, in these walkways. Because that's how we stay. We know everybody. So we'll, we'll, we'll chill with the artist a little bit. It's another half hour before we go up on stage. We're going to walk. I'm going to see John Tom and me and John Tom. It's not a reason. Uh, you understand me? So that's how we stay. We are Jamaica. Nothing wrong with that. It's all love. We know each other. So it's all love. And the vibes backstage. Great. Wonderful vibe, you know. So these passageways, these walkways, are always packed with people. However, people cannot stay around here and watch the show. This is, remember, this is backstage, you know, but people cannot stay around here and watch the show. But what Reggae Sumfest facilitates for people who are backstage is another backstage area. Over here. They must see my point, right? Right over here. So you see the whole other, you see the whole other space there, so? <clears throat> This is no passageway, you know, you know. None of these, this is not a passage, it's a open. This is actually another venue where probably can hold about four or five hundred people, right? We provide this for artists' entourage because artists and them entourage can, the entourage can go up on the stage, right? So we give them this section with a big screen, big screen with great audio to watch the show. So them have one bar right here, so. So them can drink, them can put out them chair, them can leisure in this area. There's two bars there. Talk about them here, man. This is on a TV, you know, brother. 
There's two bars. See the one bar here, so, and there's another bar here, so. This big era, this is where the reggae song fest provide for artists' entourage. So if we don't want people loitering in this passageway, we don't need to run them out the venue or do anything despicable. We just say, please go to the other black backstage area. Because some artists prefer to not have people standing in front of their tents. Berry's, you don't want people standing in front of Berry's tent, right? But because Berry's tent is around the back here, so you, you don't get a lot of that. But we always have a problem with people loitering in this area. So these are DSR, these are DSR, DSC administration. This is storage. This is where we store food and the drinks to service the tent. This is where we do the internet. These are security posts. A lot of things happen right here. This is total business. But here is artist tent. I go too slow. I speed up a little bit. This is another bar. Is that artist, right, Bob? This is another bar for facilitate people that might have lighter in this area, right? And a typical night, a lot of people in both areas, in both areas. On this Saturday night, however, we understood a security risk for Babyface as a very big security detail. They outlined that in their contract. They have a very serious security detail and wanted meetings prior to showtime to discuss it. So while they listed that in the contract, we had to have a security meeting with them. Just like if I move with the president, the, sec the president's security detail, I go visit the site where I'm supposed to make a speech, whatever, and look at the weak areas and point them out and see what they can cover to make the place safe. Sound check there, baby faces security.